eternity. He's chasing us down, violently pursuing us with his love. Scripture declares that you can never escape God. It says that he loves us so much that if we make our bed in hell, behold, there he is. I want to tell you today that even when you're in hell, the love of God is still saying, man, I wish they wouldn't have made that decision. Wow. Hey. I want to tell you that even in eternity, hell grieves God. Why? Scripture declares that in hell, which is a place of eternal torment, gnashing of teeth. It's a terrible place. I know they done lightened up on it and said, you can't preach it like that. Oh, preach it. Preach it. Preach it. Preach it. Preach it. No, that's the Bible. Preach it. Yeah. We wouldn't know anything about hell had Jesus right. not talked about it so much. Right. And if he talked about it so much, it must be really important. So I'm going to talk about it. Hell is a terrible place. Glory. Scripture declares that if we make our bed in hell, God is there. So then somebody might say, well, if God is there and he's loving on us so much while we're in hell, why are we not taken out of hell? Let me help you. You are a free will moral agent. You have the free will to choose to this day whom you shall serve. And we pray that you make the right decision before the prayer. Sounds harsh. No, let me tell you what's harsh. Harsh is how somebody could pour out their entire being for you. Love you from the day that you were born. And you constantly reject them and slap them in the face. And they say, you know, that's all right. I still love you. I still, I still love you. I'm still chasing after you. And you slap them again and go back to your own way. And you say, that's all right. I still love you. Come on to me. All of you that labor and are heavy laden. Decision making. Yes. Yes. Glory. Yes. Heaven has 12 gates. Yes. Hell has no exit signs. Why, 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 when you get to hell, why, when you get to hell, is it permanent? Scripture declares that there is a great gulf that is fixed. The gulf is fixed. There is this, although God is there, you can see him. You can even talk to him. Shama there. Can you imagine talking to God and he not even be able to answer that prayer? And, and the scripture says, but there is this great call that is fixed between me and thee. How do we know it? The word declared that the rich man lifted up his eyes in hell. And he said, I'm tormented in this flame. God, won't you please? God, get me out of this flame. It's hot. I can't take it. It's burning. The pain. Hey. The Bible declares that they that go to hell, God gives you a body fit for destruction. What does that mean? You have a body that will burn for eternity. You will feel every inch of pain. But the body will not be destroyed. You know when you set something on fire, it burns, but it eventually disappears? Right? Can you imagine your arm being set on fire right now? Hoping that it would hurry up and go out. But it always is going to burn. And it's always going to be just as painful as the first time around. What am I saying? What am I saying? That, that there's a gulf that is fixed. When something's fixed, it can't be moved. God is always going to honor his word. He always, always. And he gave his word and said, you know, I love you so much. I'm going to give you the freedom to choose. And he can't go against your choice. You 
good. If you choose it, he's going to honor it. Amen. Let's move on. 